Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss a process through which we can create a program, CL program, which accepts the parameter. So basically, we will discuss about the way through which we can pass the parameters to the CL program at the time of calling that particular program. So here, I have created one program. The member name of this program is parameter. So let's go through that program. So here you can see that uh, on line number 8 and line number 9 I have declared two variables which is username and password and both of the variables are of type character and having the length of 25 okay and below to that on line number 11 and line number 12 we are just uh, using the sndpgmmsg command to print these values username and password that is fine like these are the thing that we have already discussed in previous session like how to declare the variables and how to display the values but this time we are not going to assign any values here using this csg where command or uh, at the time of declaring uh, declaration of variable like if i take a four so we, here you can see that uh, we are not initializing any value here okay so then wh what we can do like here we are assuming that this program will uh, called by uh, the CL command line and at that time like at the time of calling itself we are passing some parameters to this program and then this program uh, will print out those values okay so how to do this so to do this you have to simply just write here one command which is pgm so just write pgm and at the end of your program you have to write end pgm and pgm so most of the people use this pgm and n pgm in every CL program but it is not needed because this thing only needed when we need to pass some parameters or when we want to receive some parameter in CL program otherwise you can skip this line like pgm and n pgm we are not using in previous session these two things but this time we need to pass some variables uh, parameters to this program that's why we are using it okay and if you keep this uh, as it is like pgm and, and, and pgm only then it is fine like it will also work as expected but it is much better like if you are taking any experimenters then only you have to that then only you need to pass these things okay now once we have put this pgm and npgm then next step is you have to just simply place your cursor on pgm and press f4 now here you can specify the parameters so for that we will keep here cursor for plus for more values and just simply write plus and hit enter so there are the multiple fields where we can pass the values so I'm passing my first parameter as username and second parameter as password okay so as we have already discussed many time like whenever we are using any parameter or we are referring any parameter we have to pass m percent symbol with this okay so we have passed these two parameters then simply hit enter so now this program will understand uh, we, we have instructed this program that we it will accept some parameters which is username and password now simply go and compile this program so we have compiled it and it is compiled successfully now we will try to call it directly without passing any parameter so i'm just calling it so it gives some error if you place your cursor here and press f1 then it will show the error so these are the errors which we are getting because we are not passing any value at the time of calling of this program uh, and on the other end we have asked the program to receive some values so there is some contradict because we are not passing the value and we are expecting that it will uh, receive some values so to resolve that what we need to do we have to simply call this program with some parameter so just write c or you can write here in command line call program name parameter this is the short trick i'm directly using c here then press f4 then in this uh, this place in param uh, field you have to write plus and hit enter so this there are multiple fields where we can pass the parameter so first parameter i'm passing here is sharmit and the second parameter here i'm passing is one two three so 
these are the other field if you needed you can pass these things also like type length decimal but for now we are just receiving the simple values so it is not needed you can directly specify the value which you are passing from here so we have to keep this uh, in set the quote otherwise it will not work because we are receiving the character values and then simply hit enter so you can see the user method is printed here which is username and here you can see the one plus icon so you can do page down and this is the password so we have received both the values successfully and we have printed it back to the user okay so this is a simple way through which you can receive the parameters in CL program using pgm and npgm command it is not mandatory to use every time these pgm and npgm because it is only needed when we are supposed to receive some parameter in CL program now here one more question arises can we pass numeric value to a CL program as a parameter yes we can pass numeric value as parameter but there is a different way to pass the numeric value here in CL so that maybe we can discuss in upcoming few sessions and for now I can just tell you like uh, when you are going to pass the numeric value to the CL program as a parameter then you have to pass the hex value of that number if you are passing hex value then it is fine like it will receive the para uh, numeric value as a parameter okay but this session is mainly for uh, mainly to discuss about the PGM and NPGM and how we can pass the parameter uh, only the character parameters to the existing CL program so I hope uh, it is now clear and that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare method